Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 129. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you're new here, say hi down below. Now, here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is 2crazyketos.com, and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way, every single time we upload a new video with Joe Sunburned, you'll be alerted to it. I don't feel, I mean, I guess I do look really red. But you look like you got into the blush. It doesn't hurt at all. Thank goodness. And tomorrow it'll be tan. I have a question, though. Uh -huh. What number of, of relights are you on right now? I am, I'm actually, I'm gonna tell you now, for this key on the couch, I will be drinking a lot. I am on my fifth Redmond Relight drink for the day, along with uh -huh. a Zip Fizz to start the day. Wow. And a serving of Daily Minerals. So I And have, I still feel like I'm still low on electrolytes. Well, I mean, and I have had Relight, I've had like two. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel great and don't feel like I need any more. So. People ask us all the time, how many relights do I need in a day? Or as how much, much as you need. Your body's gonna tell you Depends. you don't need. And it's not just what relight, it's any electrolytes. How much electrolytes do you need? As much as you need for the day. And it could be different every day. Yeah. For example, today I was on a football field from 8 a.m. to 3.40 p.m. And we really didn't get any breaks because the clock wasn't working. So we had to keep the clock on the field. So Seriously? normally what happened, I have five guys on my crew. Okay, yeah. I'm the crew chief, I have five guys. So normally every half, one of the guys gets to take a break and go in the booth. That's nice. And like they run the clock, okay? And mm -hmm. we just kind of divide it up. So when you have four games, three guys will get two clocks and then somebody right. gets one clock or two people get one clock. We didn't have that because there's no clock. Everybody stayed on the field. So now you've got all day with no break. The only break we get is at halftime of each game, you get eight minutes. But eight minutes is barely enough to get a to red restroom. relight or a restroom break or anything like that in there. To top it off, our second game had three overtimes that took an hour. So that tacked oh another hour goodness. onto the day. So yeah, long day in the South Florida heat. And you look like it. Last week we had a lot of officials go down and end up actually in the hospital oh my because of dehydration. And we keep telling people, all you ever hear from people is, you gotta hydrate, you gotta drink water, you gotta drink water. But it's if, more than water, yeah, it's electrolytes. Because if you just drink water, it's gonna dilute the, the nutrient or the minerals that you have right now. Yeah, especially if you're outside sweating like I was today. If you're sweating, well, you're sweating out not just water, but salt and potassium. And if you're only replacing it with water, what happens? What you have gets more diluted. So you gotta be doing those electrolytes. But this wasn't about electrolytes, but I did wanna mention this. Question first, should I just go ahead and burn your uniform or launder it? What do you think? Actually, it doesn't smell because ever since I started keto, like- We're not as stinky as we, we used don't to smell. be. I don't even use deodorant. I, I only have... use deodorant when I get up like in conferences if I'm gonna be like, on top and of you're, people. And, you're, it is and I'm wor it's, a, it's a mind It's thing. a mental thing. But I, I do, don't smell. I don't know, I have my left arm armpit is rogue. It does not know it's keto. Right armpit, completely fine, but left, a little stinky still. Yeah. <laughs> Can't control well, it. I, I wanted to say though, we were, right before we actually started Recorder, uh, I was like, wow, think about this day though. I got up at 6.30 a.m. Right. Um, heading out the door, I had a zip fizz. On Somewhere through the day, I did have a perfect keto, the peanut Nola bar. Actually, I'm sorry, I had it at like two o'clock in the afternoon. All right. Okay, that's it. Yet on that field all day long, did like nine miles of walking and running up and down the field, have enough energy to do this, and we haven't had a full meal yet. No. Right? I, I mean, mean, I had a Nola bar. This is my second cup of coffee, not my second pot, my second cup. cup. Pretty proud of myself. And you know, I did all a bunch of work, 
got all kinds of things done. And yeah, I, I haven't had anything to eat yet. And I still feel good. And I have no pain in my ankle, which I mean, before That's keto, a miracle. like that was. So anyway, I wanted to mention, people ask us a lot of time, how do I take the daily mineral drops? They taste nasty. Yeah. They do taste nasty. They're concentrated minerals. They're doing a job. But there's a lot of good stuff in here, like iodine. Like if you're taking this, you don't need to be using iodine drops, which also tastes nasty. Yeah. Um, so the way I like to do it on a regular basis is the way Dr. Barry does it, which is put it on your food. Cook with it. Don't try to drink this stuff, especially straight. I've tried. Um, I put it on my food, it basically seasons your food. It, it's You don't even taste it. It's like you added salt to your food. Right. So if you cook in your steak, just put it on top lid, so good. But I discovered something new on the way out today. I'm like, I knew I was gonna need a bunch of electrolytes because of the heat and everything else. So I had a Zip Fizz, which is overly sweet. Right. I just put like giant squirts in there, like basically a serving and you didn't taste it at all. Well, Joe called me super excited from the road because he he did it and it worked, it did, it tasted good. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'm gonna do it too because maybe he don't know what he's talking about as far as taste goes. Mm -hmm. I did the same thing, put mm -hmm. the shot in there and drank it with my Zip Fizz, my Fruit Punch Zip Fizz this morning. Tasted fine. I didn't taste any yeah. difference. So if you're interested in the daily mineral drops or uh, in any of the Keto Child Electrolytes, there is a link down below. If you use that link, you're gonna get 15% off. It's not sponsored or anything, but we really do live off of this. Like, we do. You will hear me constantly be talking about electrolytes. Electrolytes are so important. If you don't have enough electrolytes, not only are you gonna feel like garbage, but it can actually impact your weight loss. So yeah. make sure you're getting all of your electrolytes in. And we just love them. But I did wanna mention, I made yes, a little mistake you did. last week. So uh, Redmond Relight, we do absolutely love this stuff. And I mentioned that I was looking at my tubs and noticed 60 servings instead of 50. Right. That's only the two new flavors. Yeah. Okay. I have reached out to them. I have not heard back if all of the other flavors are going to 60 servings. But they have not like put a thing on their label like now with 60 servings. Joe for just the, did. I did that. Yeah. This was not on them. That was my mistake because the two new flavors say 60 servings but it does lower the sodium a little bit. It lowered the sodium to like 860 milligrams. And uh, I believe the potassium drops to 400 milligrams. I don't know why they did. I'm gonna assume it's because they wanna have the sweetness people. A lot of people felt they were too salty. Right. But they also do ha drop it down to 16 ounces of water, which again, I put it in here and like, I just love the taste. So that was on me. That was not a Redmond thing or anything like that. I but will, the old flavors are still later. 50 servings. They didn't raise the price. They didn't lower the price or anything like that. But I just wanted to clarify, I didn't realize that that it went up to 60 and I didn't realize that these did not, so. If anybody's waiting for us to get it perfect. That's never, ever, I ever hope you packed a lunch in pajamas. I say it with officiating all the time. I say the day I officiate a perfect game, I quit. Because I'll never officiate a perfect It's not possible. Game, right? Yeah. I mean, it's funny. You look at officiating and people, if you go to your job and mm -hmm. you get a review, and this applies to keto. Sure if does. you get a job review, like an end of the year review, I don't know, like maybe maybe they give you really high marks, like a 90 percentile on like your overall efficiency. Good job. You're probably getting a raise, Yeah. right? If a child gets a 90 on a test. I'm super excited. It's an A. Yeah. But when it comes to officiating, if I make 200 calls in a game and I get five wrong, I'm the worst official in the world. You stink. Right? We you do that with our like keto Rachel's lifestyle. Left armpit. But don't we do that with our keto yeah. lifestyle? Beat and that's up. one of the things we talk about, like keto police. We don't like the keto police in our group and things like that because we're not perfect. I don't think any of us are perfect. You can say, I'm carnivore. Well, if you put spices on, technically we're not really carnivore. I don't want anybody beating themselves up right. because you know what? Maybe today I had a little bit of maltodextrin on my pork rinds. Maybe today I had just a little bit of oil that I wouldn't normally have. It's okay. Don't beat yourself up. Yeah. I mean, maybe take your own badge off. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, we will, you know, we, it, we get upset about other people being policed by the keto police, but we don't stop ourselves from policing ourselves. So like, let yourself off with a warning, mm -hmm. get better, yep. do better today, but yep. like, let's not beat ourselves up. Yep. 
I did want to quickly mention we drew the winners for the guava grapefruit. We did. Uh, we posted it on the community page. It showed up as a post. So you can go back and look for that. We also posted it in our family Facebook group of who the winners are with a one minute screen recording. I find it's easier. Here's the documentation of who won. Yeah. You can go look for that. We will put the winners down here below in the description. Now, if we do not hear from the winners by our live stream on Thursday, I'm going to redraw right. for those people because we really do Don't want, want to, to miss get it out. into people's hands. And don't forget about the giveaway Lots for all of, of the Keto Chow bundles. And we have a starter bundle, a leap bundle, and a premium bundle. And they're amazing, but if you look at those videos, we have a different amount of comments and views for each one. So you, you can know, enter into them all. Enter each one of them, and I would rather leave with the starter bundle than not even try to get it because right. I'm putting all of my energy into the right. elite yeah, bundle. Yeah, go enter into them all. So the playlist for all three of those is right over Rachel's head. And uh, again, that drawing will be on Rachel's birthday, which is September, September 3rd. 3rd right? So I was thinking, I have to, I have to admit, I caved. What did you do? I, I caved Aww. and I can't believe I did this. Uh-oh. But I had jalapeno poppers. And I joined him and I helped. <laughs> I helped. Yeah. So I don't know. We're back to zero we're, days we're, we're on the job to zero site. Days. We went three weeks with jalapeno poppers. We said we were going to take we had a, a break good run. from them. We had they're just so good. Three days of no jalapeno poppers. You know what happens is you find another brick of uh, you know um, cream cheese and a little bit of bacon, and you're like, yeah, well, we well, don't want to waste it. What really happened was somebody sent us a recipe and suggested since we love jalapeno poppers, we do. why don't you try my recipe where I stuff chicken breast with cream cheese and some spices. And I'm like, that sounds delicious. And it is, P.S. But I'm like, let's kick it up a notch. Let's add some jalapeno into there. So now we so have to buy all of We actually have that video coming. So I went to the store and I'm buying all the stuff. I'm like, you know what sounds really good right now? Jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno poppers. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I caved. And I'm going to cave again today because as soon as we're done recording this, I'm going to go make more jalapeno I poppers. know. It's a it's a vicious cycle. What is your... Gotta have it right now. Gotta have it right now keto Because it does change. Because we, we, we do tend to get into cycles. Like yeah. we'll go like a month where I need keto chow two meals a day every single day. Then I don't have it for a couple weeks. Then I'm like, I want a steak every single day. Then I want hamburgers. Right now, we're kind of like on a, a hoagie bowl kick right now and jalapeno poppers. Well, and I mean, we're those people that like play that song. Like there's a reason why, you know, you could sell a cassette tape to me, mm -hmm. you know, back in the 80s and 90s because I'm going to play that song right. like until I'm sick of it. Uh -huh. That's just our nature. So let us know down in the comment section. What's your go-to food? I'm going to take a drink and let's take a quick commercial break and then we can come back with all the comments so what is the best birthday meal this is my birthday week yeah but i want to know what do you think is the best meal to have on your birthday i know what you're going to want but i i, I have to tell you right now you will not be getting it on your birthday you, we gotta or wait so we can do day it together before your birthday or the day after your birthday or a month after your birthday you're never getting it rachel so we can, everybody knows what rachel wants rachel wants prime rib from texas roadhouse either that or well maybe i'll just get on on my birthday I'm or getting, jalapenos that's my unbirthday. that's every other day oh, of okay. the year i feel like i may want a little bit of sashimi i'm still jonesing for the poke bowl that was from so Omaha. good really good let us know down in the comment section what is your birthday meal when it comes to keto what is your birthday meal? Yeah. or do you make the decision to go off plan personally we don't want to do that but you know you do what is best for your journey I find out what what's your meal but, so your let birthday. us know down below but yeah i've got a game on thursday a game on friday and two games on saturday so the chance that we are going i am there's no way i can eat a 16 to 20 ounce prime rib before officiating he's not rachel and then the sun is not going to want me to do it after my fortunately games. we've got an entire year to get it in we did i feel like we will get I'm it in. i'm thinking maybe sunday we can probably do that i know what we won't be doing what for your birthday okay 
watching Fast and the Furious. Because we're we're out. We're out. Well, we have we actually have one and a half left. We're halfway through Hobbs and Shaw. Which is good. And then you have F9, which I'm not going to watch right now. Let us know down in the comment section if you've seen the whole Fast and the Furious. The, the ninth one is only available for rent. And I'm not paying $20 to rent gonna it. We're going to wait till it's available. We're going to wait till it's available. It. But we, we started watching it and I forgot how good they are. We'd only ever seen up to like five. Right. And then we started watching them and we're like... This is actually a pretty good series, and yeah. it's surprisingly clean. It is surprisingly not as violent either. Right. Like you know, someone gets good shot, storylines, but they they don't they don't need you to see all of the gore. Yeah, of the violence. So yeah, I mean, it, it's not something that I would watch with a little kid, but no. definitely as they're you know the teenage mm -hmm. group, you know, like I think it'd probably be sort of safe. It was kind of weird though because I never liked Tokyo Drift. Because it didn't seem right. It, it was just it like different It didn't seem right people. to them either. They fixed it. And since so. They released it. We, now, watching it, you find out that Tokyo Drift is actually a prequel to, I believe it's seven. They've just made it fit. So, well, I mean, not really, because if you watch the after credits right. in Tokyo Drift, it tells you what's going to happen. But then all of a sudden, he's back. And yeah, so you have to watch in order. It's like one, three, four, five. Do not five. give the numbers out. I'm sure we are wrong. I, it's somewhere. It's like after yeah. five, after six that you're supposed to watch Tokyo Draft. But yeah, we're really enjoying that. So we need a new movie series to binge. What should we be binging? Let us know down in the comment section what should we binge. Are you wanna, let's talk about subscribers. That's what Keto Couch is about. That's right. right. So Keto on the Couch is all about subscribers. That's why we started it. 128 episodes ago. We almost have a thousand videos. Yeah, out. that's insane. I that's can't even That's crazy. Thanks that. for hanging out with us. You know what the funny part is? Is we are consistently inconsistent. We say that all the time. We are consistently I'm inconsistent. not receiving that. With the exception of Keto on the Couch. We have never missed a week of Keto on the Couch. So high five. High five. I don't know how we did it. We can do things. Yes. We can do the things. Right, if we really try. Let's try. Because we love Keto on the Couch because we Let's love our it. subscribers. Yeah. And so Keto on the Couch is all about you guys, your wins, your losses, your successes, your motivation. So we're going to start off with our Keto College adjunct professor of Great the job. week. I got that in this time. And uh, we actually have two of them. The first one is from Tamison. Hey, Tamison. They said, non-scale victory restarted keto June 1st after getting some not good lab results from my primary care physician. Started keto chow regularly a month later. I actually did three a day for 30 days in July. Awesome. Now for the non-scale victory part, I just had my A1C drawn and it came back at 5.4. Way to go, Tamison. Amazing how 12 weeks of eating correctly can really make a difference in your health. Please, if you just started keto or going through a rough time staying the course, uh, do not let discouragement win. So good. Better health is waiting for you. It may not show on the scale or in the mirror, but it is happening. Yep. I'm nowhere near to being done on my journey, and I have a long way to go to look healthy, but my body is healing a little bit more every day. Thank you so much for sharing that reminder and being vulnerable enough to share it mm -hmm. because you know just today i was watching um raya and the last dragon okay. i watched that with caleb usually we have a marvel date on the weekends when mm -hmm. when they're doing um football Games. but this week he, he suggested i think you're gonna really like this movie raya and the last dragon if you haven't seen it it's on disney plus and it was all about learning to trust people. It was all about trust, that you have to be vulnerable and trust other people, even if you've been hurt in the past. And I feel like that really speaks to the keto community because in the past, I've been hurt by people. I've been right. hurt by what people have said about my diet. I've been hurt by um, sharing photos of myself and making myself vulnerable to be seen by other people. That's hard. Yep. And if you have a history where people have hurt you or used your weight loss journey against you, then you're like, I don't want to put myself back out there. That's absolutely right. And so the the whole thing in this movie was you you're not gonna win until you trust people. You're gonna have to be vulnerable. So thank you for being vulnerable and for sharing your stories. We say that all the time. Your story is gonna bless somebody else. And I think that you just you know shared a lesson, adjunct professor of the week. Mm -hmm. That's really gonna bless somebody. Yeah. 
Now we actually have one more adjunct professor of the week. This is a nice, simple one, but I love this. It's from Peggy. Hey Peggy. Put up a little image that said, just because you aren't making progress fast, yes. doesn't mean you aren't making progress. Keep going. That is such a powerful reminder. And I think we need to put our journey in context, okay? So if I have been keto for the last, what, three years, mm -hmm. all right? that feels like, gosh, it's taken a long time to get to where I am. Mm -hmm. But if I put that up against the 20 years before, That's right. or 30 years of feeling terrible, three years doesn't seem like it's that long. And the other thing is, is again, we have to stop using the scale as our measurement for success. Yeah. Because there are so many things going on. Like, for example, I officiated four football games today from 8 a.m. to almost 4 p.m. In the heat. And I can walk. And if you don't know, I have several pins in my ankle. I've dealt with arthritis since 1992, debilitating arthritis that put yeah. me in a wheelchair for our honeymoon, debilitating arthritis that had me taking painkillers and arthritis medication on a regular basis. And since starting keto, I don't need any of that. Yeah. So if I never lost any weight, who cares? I don't have to take all those medicines anymore. And you can I'm walk. not spending $200 a month on medication for my arthritis. I can walk. I feel good. It's five o'clock at night and I haven't eaten anything other than a NOLA bar No all hangriness. Day. I don't have any of that. So let's stop using that scale because remember the scale is the devil and the mirror is a liar and the mirror is a liar because i don't know about everybody else we said it last week i look in the mirror and i still see the 285 pound joe yeah okay let's move on to our subscriber of the week this week's is Susie. Hey, Susie. Susie said, I finally am brave enough to post my before and after pictures. Yay. I am down 75 pounds, all thanks to Keto, 2KK, and awesome Keto friends. Thank you. For those of you in maintenance phase of your journey, can you give me your tips or advice? Keto, keto for, for life. life. And ready? Look at us. Ooh, Susie, aren't you lovely? Wow. Oh my goodness, you look incredible, girl. I also love your dog. <laughs> That is a cute dog right there. Mm -hmm. I love it. Congratulations. Okay, so Susie, I'm gonna give you a piece of advice. Congratulations, that's first of all. Second of all, here's my advice on maintenance. My personal belief, I'm not saying this is definite, my personal belief, we're never in maintenance. Okay, I, that's just me. You're always gonna be losing or gaining a half a pound, a pound. I think we always have to stay on top of each other. The problem that I have with people when say, I'm gonna go into maintenance mode, is we let off the throttle a little bit. Yeah. And I've done this, where we start going, you know what? I don't have to really pay attention as much. I I'm think you're the, always gonna I'm in the tweak. Ballpark. Right, so you, maybe you get to your weight loss goal, then we start tweaking things. What can I do for better health? Can I take out certain ingredients? Can maybe I cut back on the dairy? Can I maybe look at, are there any nightshades that may bother me? Mm -hmm. uh, what can help reduce inflammation more? So I always think that we're always gonna be tweaking. We're always tweaking, experimenting, trying different things. And I think that is how you stay consistent and continue to keep your weight and maintain it at the weight that you want to be at. But we are so excited for you. You yep. look amazing. Okay, uh, first comment is from... Car Hirsch. Car Hirsch. New subscriber about two days ago, well, welcome. Found you when I searched for the Omaha Keto Summit 2021 and your videos came up on the search. I'm so glad I found you. I love you guys already. Thank you for your videos. You are now part of my keto family. God bless you. Well, well thank you thank very you. much. Now, if you haven't seen it, yeah, so we did go to Keto Summit Omaha. Uh, we have an entire playlist. We have a lot more videos coming out. I'm going to link that playlist right up Lots here. Lots more interviews. So right now, that's what's on there. At the time that we were recording this video is we have the vlog for two days. One of the days where we're showing you all of the different vendors. We also speak to Nisha Berry. And, Dr. Uh, Berry? Uh, no, no we, Dr. Berry is his own video. Right. Uh, and then we also spoke to Jay in the yes. first vlog. Yes, in the vlog. And then after that, we have a video where we have interviewed Dr. Berry. He talks about the proper human diet. We have a video where we talk to Maria Emmerich and we're giving away her kid's cookbook, which How I want fun. that cookbook for me, by the She's way. She's gonna send it and sign it. Yes, yes. So we have that is really awesome. 
We also have interviews with Kim Howerton coming, with Asner Cindy coming. Yes. So make sure you Don't subscribe to out. the channel. Make sure you hit that little bell button so that you're notified when those videos coming up. Also, don't forget, we will be going to the Las Vegas Keto Convention. Yeah. Uh, all of the information for that is down below. Let us know if you're going to be there. Yeah, well, and in the middle of that- We have Keto Palooza. Keto Palooza, where in we're Kentucky. gonna have an opportunity to speak there. I'm so still not looking forward to that drive. Well, I'm looking forward to getting to see everybody. So yep. whatever I have to do to get there, we're getting there. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Brianna. Hey, Brianna. She said, RE for the car wash keto journey comparison. That was in last week's Keto on the Couch. Said, I am on my last 10 to 20 pounds yes. after losing 139 pounds. It's like I'm under a giant blow dryer in the car wash and I have to surpass the urge to put my car into drive yeah. and hurry through that last little bit of the process. Uh, how many times have you done that, right? Same. You want to drive out past the blower. Like, I don't need this blower. I have to be patient. I moved through the last little bit of my weight loss journey slowly so I don't come out the other end with water spots. That is, is that such like awesome? a great analogy. And as I was reading it, it reminded me of trying to potty train the kids. And let me tell you, the the children will let you know when they're ready. That's you're right. you're ready mm -hmm. way before the kids are ready mm -hmm. for it to be over. But if you try to force it, you are just going to be miserable. Mm -hmm. When they're ready, it's like easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. Right. It's they're ready to go. There's no crying. There's no gnashing of teeth. It right. just it just flows. So yeah, I mean, I love that analogy so much. Don't try to force it. Mm -hmm. Be patient. Take your time. Enjoy the ride. Yeah. You know, like you're you're doing stuff in the process. Things are happening. Mm -hmm. I want every single bug, love bug mm -hmm. stuck to my windshield and my front grill off. Yeah. So even in the process, some good things that you don't even know you need are happening. Yeah. And again, if you're new, take it slow. Yeah. We actually have a whole playlist on how to get started on keto where we have you going very slowly. On day one of your keto journey, yeah. you don't need to throw out all of the good, all of the cheap eggs. You don't need to throw out like every single sugar. We, we want you to walk through this slowly because for us, this is all about sustainability. So if you get yourself slowly, take your time. We did not switch over to pasture-raised eggs on day one. No. That took us like eight months. So it takes time. We didn't even switch over to like the healthier oils on day one. No. That took us a little bit of time. Do what you can do to make it sustainable and get you to keep going for long term. Ready? Next one is from Danita. Hey, Danita. She says, it's getting easier every day to turn down the sweets and carbs that are brought in by my coworkers. I say what Tara and Jeremy from Tara's Keto Kitchen Love said. them. Do you deserve that donut or so you deserve good health? Yeah. Or do you deserve good health? Is that not awesome? That is so brilliant. We love them. Yeah. Yes, they're if amazing. If you have not watched Tara and Jeremy, go ahead and take a look at their channel. I'm going to leave a link for them right over Rachel's head. They are absolutely amazing Such wisdom. people. Uh, Tara is like a phenomenal chef. She's yeah. got some really good recipes. She's got a great cupcake book that is incredible. Well, and I like the idea of saying like when you look at a donor, you look at a food and you maybe you've put in a, a long day's work or you've got a project done. And a lot of times I too will like equate, I deserve that. Mm -hmm. But we need to say, I deserve more than that. That's right. That is a donut that's going to take me 30 seconds to hork down. You know yep. what I deserve? I deserve to feel good at yeah. the end of the day. That is what I truly deserve. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Meg. Hey, Meg. Meg said, I cannot agree more on our self-worth is not determined by our way of eating or a scale number. There is no one way of eating for any everyone. True. I am keto for seizures primarily. My husband does much better when he eats more carbs, so he is just low carb. We focus on our health and the weight loss is a part of that, but not our main motivation. In eight plus months, I have not eaten off of keto because for me, a seizure just isn't worth it. And that That's really so ties back in with that last comment, right? I mean, it, you have to look at, is this worth it? Yeah, and I don't want a headache. You know, I have stuff to do today, but I also have stuff to do tomorrow. And I don't want to set myself up 
mm-hmm. to fail and to feel terrible. I want to be present. I want to enjoy the people that I'm talking to. You know, if I'm hanging out with my family or hanging out with friends, I don't want to be trying to concentrate on what they're saying to me by pushing past the pain and inflammation that's going on. Right. So the best way for me to prepare for each new day is to not go off plan and, and give in to things that are gonna make me feel terrible. Yeah, but everybody is different. And that's why we say you have to do what's good for you. Yeah. Do Rachel Keto, do Joe Keto, do Miriam Keto. Whatever works for you, again, to keep it sustainable yeah. is the most important thing. Our uh, next one is from Marianne. Hey, Marianne. She says, great video. I originally found the keto chow recipe back at the beginning when it still had psyllium husk powder as the fiber because I wanted to stop thinking about food. I lost 125 wow. pounds the first time around, gained most of it back when I got very sick, but not keto chow's fault. Now I'm on the slow road back to health and back to using keto chow. Well, congratulations, yes. Marianne. That's first of all. Proves and you can yes, do it. You know, People do talk about keto chow and you know they forget the recipe for keto chow. If you want to make it on your own, it's on their website. Yeah. I mean it's full disclosure. It's free. There you go. Transparency. Now it's how they developed in the beginning. They've done some things now where they can get some vitamins in bulk and and but that way there was buying them on Amazon the way Chris originally did the recipe. Yeah. But it is a great way to help you. What we say for if you're a an on the go kind of person. We're always, obviously you can look at our schedule, landscaping and working in church and officiating. We're always on the go. So I like Keto Chub because I can grab something out of the refrigerator. Sometimes like on my way out of the gate for a game, I'm gonna grab a Keto Chow and either drink it on the way to the game or have it in a cooler so I can have something halfway through the day, like if I, if we actually have a clock break. Well, and that's what it's good for. Speaking of a clock break, I have a, I'm like a remember all. I'm mm-hmm. like Harry Potter. I've got alarms going off all of the time to remind me that I like I need to check on a friend that's in the hospital, and so I set an alarm because yeah, I will I will forget. We get busy sometimes. Right. Keto Chow really helps us stay on track, but like get another 10 minutes yeah. into the day that we don't have to spend cooking. But we do want people to understand that with Keto Chow, and we, we did a video on a review of it a couple of years ago, and I stand by this, you do not need to drink Keto Chow for three meals a day. No. I Unless you're doing like a cleanse to get yourself back on track, I honestly would not recommend doing Keto Chow three meals a day. Why? Because we're addicts. Yeah. And if we only drink the Keto Chow for three meals a day, with nothing else, and we try to do that long term, if you don't deal with why you got heavy in the yeah. first place, as soon as you go back to food, you're going to end up probably gaining weight. So the way we always recommend Keto Chow is use it for one or two meals for those quick where you would normally go to a drive through or something like that, and then make sure you're eating good, healthy meats and fats, things like ribeyes and steaks, and you can have some bacon, of course, and eggs, something like maybe Dr. Berry's beef, butter, bacon, and eggs challenge. Yeah, well, but it's important to deal and have a relationship with food. Yeah. And and it's okay. I mm-hmm. can remember when we first started, I was scared of food. I was certainly scared of like hamburgers and bacon. It had been so long since it was okay for me to have those things. Yep. So I totally get that it's, it's challenging to have a relationship once again with food. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Benefits, Benefits. which is Renee. Aw. Said the reason for my nothing is impossible tattoo. It's a Katherine Hepburn quote Love that her. finishes with, for the word itself says, I'm possible. So good. And this applied to my own journey in such a big way. It applies to many people who hear my story and say, oh, I could never do that. Or my patients that think they'll never walk again or conquer other debilities. Uh, I tell my patients that the C word is not allowed. No matter what your journey, nothing is impossible. No matter what part of your life, no matter your starting weight or your health issue, you can do it. That is a very, very powerful thing to say. If you can just change when you're looking in the mirror, when you're thinking in the self, you, you, you get up in the morning, stop saying, I can't do this. Start mm-hmm. saying, I can do this. Mm-hmm. Even before you see it happen, yeah. right? I can, I can walk again. Mm-hmm. I can reverse diabetes. 
I can beat this anxiety. I can live a life without depression. I can. It is possible. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, encourage yourself in that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Deborah. Hey, Deborah. She says, you really have a nice voice, Rachel. Well, thanks, Deborah. Our friends told us about you guys. Love you. Love you, too. I thought I knew all the good ones. I was doing great on keto. Then I came down with a bad case of COVID after two weeks when I wasn't getting better. My husband dragged me to the hospital, which they promptly admitted me. Long story short, I've been off keto big time, putting weight on pretty quickly. I started again a few days ago. I'm just wondering what snacks are healthy and all the products you review on your channel. Do you eat them? Okay, so I'm going to leave this up. So first of all, we're very sorry that you yes. uh, got COVID. We're glad that you are recovering. I do want to mention for people who may get the flu or get COVID or something like that, take a look at our video on how to get over some of that yeah. stuff. I'm gonna leave a link right up here. Hope You're gonna be helps. surprised from it. The biggest thing is with the flu, with COVID, with any of that stuff, again, get your electrolytes in. Yes, that so is important. so, so important. When we were sick, the electrolytes is what kept us going because even when you're not hungry, it gives you some of that energy. It keeps you going. You need those electrolytes. Okay, but as far as getting back started, just go back and act like you didn't do it before. Go back to maybe start off slowly, just dump all the sugar in the grains and eat as much as you want, so long as it doesn't contain sugar and grains and wheat and things like that. As far as healthy snacks, eat if, if you're into snacking, um, I would say beef jerky. I, I don't ever recommend nuts because nuts can be a stumbling block. For like us at for least. For me, I know I can easily, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna admit something right now that I'm probably gonna get yelled at for when this is over. Okay. So when we were in Omaha, mm -hmm. uh, we went to Aldi. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. And uh, I snuck a bag of macadamia nuts into that you, basket. I have not seen it. Oh yeah, there's none left. So I ate them. You didn't share them? No, no. I, I ate them those, handful at a time. Those are the fancy nuts. When we were in Omaha. Yeah, but they were only $8 a bag. So it's like now it's affordable. Only. Right? So uh, I'm going to turn this off. Uh, so yeah, I ate them there and then I came home with them. And yesterday, Anthony and I went to work. And I'm like, oh, in my backpack. There's a bag of macadamia nuts. So I put them in the car and I promptly ate every macadamia nut left Finish that. over the whole day. And I uh, guess what? I would say that that bag has nine servings. There's no way it took me nine days to eat that bag. No. No. I, I want to say I ate it like four days, four actual days. So nuts, I don't ever recommend nuts as a snack. Uh, some people can do it. You need to stick I to the bars. I personally can't. I would use, you know, different things like you know, eggs and beef jerky, maybe a little bit of cheese if you're not like me and you have a huge problem with it. You can do some celery, you can do pickles. Uh, as far as keto snacks, some of the stuff that we review, we use. Yeah. Some of it, we don't. We see things all the time, like recently, we've got a lot of reviews on products we found in Aldi and Costco. We Amazing. will get it for a review, but either A, we don't like it so we wouldn't buy it again, or B, it's a danger product for us. What I mean by a danger product, something that I won't be able to control myself with. Well, and always check out our Would You Recommend It, the mm -hmm. number five yeah. on any of our videos. We'll show you how we would work it in or why we don't think it's good. Right. So like that's, you know, you wanna watch it all the way through to, to number five because even if it's something that we wouldn't use, maybe, you know, you still have a young family, our boys are grown, and we will pass on something that looks like a great snack option for a kid to our nephews who are our younger kids and still packing a school lunch. I will say, if you're interested, the products that we repurchase when it comes to snack products on a regular basis. Yeah. Uh, Perfect Keto Nola Bars. Mm -hmm. uh, occasionally the cookies, but I love the Nola Bars. That's his favorite. I really love those he Nola Bars. He cries when they're out. Um, the Perfect Keto Nola Bars, Keto Brick, right? Uh, we like the Fat Snacks Crackers. Yes, next. And High Key Cookies. But again, we do it very limited because I can eat a whole bag of those crackers or I can eat a whole bag of those cookies in a sitting, no problem. Not a problem at all. So you should I, see how we can I, polish I'm trying to think, off. is there any other keto product that we buy on a, oh, 
and the schoolyard snacks. Yeah. That, uh, we buy the cheese puffs. Yeah. So that's pretty Sometimes much the of all the stuff that we get. That's what we get on a regular basis. And there are links for all of that down below. And again, one of the reasons that we have links, one of the reasons we do get coupon codes is because we use it. You will never see us have a coupon code or have a link or become an affiliate with a company if we don't use it on a regular basis. Because that's just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, next one is from Julie. Hey, Julie. She says, I went on a week-long vacation and going off plan was the plan. That's awesome. I love that. I like that you had a plan. When I got back, I had gained five pounds. I knew some of it was water weight and some was from eating more calories than normal. It was expected and I wasn't upset. When I got back, I started intermittent fasting, 16-8, Keto chow for my first meal of the day, scrambled eggs with tuna for my second meal, and chronometer, I had balanced my macros and calories. I was so disheartened as I continued to gain more weight over the week, but I stuck to it anyway. Today, day eight, after returning from vacation, and I am down 4.2 pounds and up two pounds in muscle mass. Wait for the whoosh. Such good advice. I love that, Julie. Absolutely love that. I do want to remind everybody, when we start gaining weight, that's usually the result of something from a couple of days ago. Yeah. It's not necessarily something from the night before. Heck, I've had times where I fasted for 36 hours and gained weight. Like, what's with that? Yeah. Right? But maybe three or four days before, I had a double serving of ice cream. Or right. I had a 24-ounce prime rib. You Love know, those so days. They're nice days, but it, it is something, when you look at that, it's to remember... It's not the day before usually. So I'm glad you stuck with it. I'm glad that you had that whoosh. It's always nice to see that whoosh when you get home. Well, and it's important. I love your frame of mind. That is that is a good and powerful frame of mind to have. It's important for people to know though, you can schedule your day to go off keto, but you don't get to schedule when you recover That's right. from that. That's right. So you may say like, okay, I'm gonna do this on vacation and I'm scheduling, this is the date of, of my undoing. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get back and I am believing that by, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of me getting back on track, then I will have fixed that day. Not necessarily. A lot of times it takes up like a week. It's like training a dog to do a trick. And then when you're ready to like showcase this trick, expecting like, and now he will do it. Like our daughter was just showing how they've been training Jenny to dock dive, doing great in the practice run. And then when it's time to like showcase it, she's like, yeah, not so much. No. So our bodies are like that too. We may be ready. Okay, vacation over, laundry cleaned, everything's back in the closet. So now everything should be back on the scale like I expect it to be. Be, and maybe no so wait be patient yep okay let's take a quick commercial break then we'll come back with the rest of the facebook comments i'm glad that you're still sticking with us through this video i'm glad you've stuck with me through all of my nonsense what is the fast of yours ride or die baby ride or I'm die your ride or die partner <laughs> Okay, let's get into the next one. It is from Debbie. Debbie. Debbie said, who has creative ideas on how to stay structured and on track? I find myself doing good 80% of the day, but uh, then blowing it the other 20%, pretty much on a daily basis. So I haven't uh, fully been doing 100% keto for the last couple months. I have a lot of traumatic and stressful things going on in my family right now, and I think that is why but I want to stay strict to it so I can get back on rhythm of actually losing weight instead of just staying the same. What are your tips or ideas for staying strong? Number one, Debbie, here's what I'm going to say. I'm proud of you for recognizing yes. that some of your family issues that are happening right now could be the trigger. Mm -hmm. That's the first important thing, right? You have to recognize what is going on. And so that's a huge step when you recognize, hey, I think this was what it is. Now, as for the rest of it, some of it's going to be willpower. Yeah, definitely. And I think that also I need some grab and go um, stress relievers on the ready for those moments because the stress is not going to go away. Mm -hmm. I just need to replace, you know, how I respond to that stress exactly. with like what is going to be the little stress reliever for me. Maybe it is go for a walk. Maybe it is. I'm stopping right now and I'm going to go lay down and take a nap. Or and get it, in the bath. Or get in the bathtub. It doesn't matter. Maybe um, buy a couple of gift cards to some of like gas stations or something that you're like, I can, I'm going to go or coffee shops and be like, I'm going to go grab 
a coffee that won't take me off plan. Maybe it's buy yourself a couple of little gift cards to, to go to Walmart. I'm going to go buy myself a top. Yeah. I need a relief right now. I'm going to go paint my nails. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go get a, a pedicure, something because you need to reach for something. I understand just wanting to like stress relieve, mm -hmm. but you need to be like, I need something other than food to stress relieve with. Yeah. yeah, I like that. And the other thing I did want to say, I, I think I put in the comment you had on Facebook, but I did not see a response. I'm curious, where do you think your falter is? So you say 80% of the day you're good, and then the other 20% you're not. And this applies to everybody. Where are you faltering? Is it that you're walking past the bakery and you see like something that you used to really like? That for me, when you have those kind of things, or maybe you you want dessert, mm -hmm. that is where some of the keto treats come into play. Is it good to have them every day? Not necessarily, but I would rather see you eat a serving of, you know, some type of like ice cream, like Rebel or, you know, even enlightened ice cream. I'd rather see you eat a serving of that than completely jump off board and get haagen -Dazs. Yeah. I'd rather see you, you know, have a bad oil than go buy French fries, if, if that makes sense. So I'd say, look at where you're faltering and say, is there a keto substitute for this where maybe it's not quite as good? Heck, have the Catalina Crunch cookies that I wouldn't even try over having Oreos. It's it's still better than the alternative. Well, and sometimes for me, I had very triggering times of day. Mm -hmm. There were certain times of day where I can't, I couldn't even negotiate with um, my cravings. I need to just put my sneakers on and go for a walk until that time passes or go watch a movie or change up my eating to be like, if four o'clock is a hard time of day for me, then that's when I'm going to eat my meal. Yeah. Instead of like having an extra snack to it, just be like, I need to change up my schedule because for whatever reason, this seems to be a stressful time of day. Now, Debbie did remind me because she's a Patreon and mm -hmm. we got to hang out with her a little bit when we were Yay. out in Utah. I'm gonna put you on the spot. Okay. I'm probably gonna get yelled at for this one too. All right, let's do it. We have not had a Patreon live stream in a while. We did not do one for the entire month of August we because were sick. we were sick and now I've got football. I've got football late again this Saturday. I miss our Patreon live streams. So this week, we're gonna do it after a long day at church and we're gonna do it on Sunday at okay. 5 p.m. because it is the first weekend of the month. Sounds good to me. So we are going to do spot. that on September 5th. I know, but you don't like it when I decide something me. without telling you. I'm getting used but to it. But it just occurred to me because I was like, oh, Debbie, Patreon. There's a link for our Patreon down below. I love our Patreon live streams. Me too. So it is Sunday, September 5th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Nine five. Nine five. At five. Nine five. Working at five. nine to five. I like that. Now I want to watch Dolly Parton do stuff. <laughs> okay, next comment is from Suzanne. Hey Suzanne. She says, Hi everyone. I'm doing an a uh, 40 hour fast every month and now thinking about doing a longer one three to five days. Any advice? Uh do it as long as you think you can do it. I always tell people don't put a time limit on it. So if you are plan, I like you say three to five days. So yeah. you're gonna plan a 72 hour fast, but we've done that and at the end of 72 hours, Still like, feel good? you know what? I feel good. Keep on rolling. My reason I say don't put a time limit on it, you'd be surprised how much those last couple of hours suck. Yeah. Right? I'm sorry for the language, but they just, they're horrible. Just a fact. You think about it, it's like, it's like being at work or at school. You're watching And knowing clock. I'm in the last period of school, that last 10 minutes of that last period in school was the longest time of the day, what right? What do they say? A watched pot never boils. Right. <laughs> So that's first advice. Don't put necessarily a time limit on it. Say, you know what? When I'm good, I'm good. Mm -hmm. And don't punish yourself if you don't reach your goal. Sometimes we've done as much as seven day fast. And then there's other times where I couldn't make it 36 hours. Yeah. So you have to let your body go. But the most important thing, and everyone's gonna know what we're gonna say, is electrolytes. Do your electrolytes. Make sure you're getting electrolytes. That's gonna get you through it. That's gonna help you, that's gonna keep your energy up, it's gonna prevent the crampings, it's gonna prevent the headaches, and uh, it doesn't matter if it's Keto Chow ones, if it's Redmond, if it's Perfect Keto, 
as far as if you need flavored ones, have at it. Don't listen to anybody that say you can't have an electrolyte that's got a little bit of stevia in it. If you're not eating for 72 hours or or longer, yeah. and the only thing that's getting you through is having a little bit of Redmond Relight or a little bit of Perfect Keto or a little bit of Element that's got five calories, you're good. Oh, number one suggestion. Get yourself the Redmond Season Salt. Yes. Put a teaspoon of it in a nice big cup like this. Yep, a giant filled one. Filled with boiling water. Mix it up. And as you're drinking, mix it up because some of the minerals do drop to the bottom and the spices drop to the bottom. It tastes exactly like chicken soup, but there's no chicken in it. It's delicious. So it's zero calories. Try to make sure it's a Star Wars cup because I feel like that propels your health goals yeah. even more. But that's what gets us through a lot of fasts. Uh, next one is from Debbie. Hey, Debbie. She says, where's the best place to look up meat macros? I am trying to find macros for cooked turkey drumsticks. Uh, chronometer. Yeah. So, uh, but I put this in here because we've been seeing a lot of things on our Facebook group and on other people's Facebook groups about meat and tracking. And should you track the pre-cooked or the cooked? I track pre-cooked. Yes. Pre-cooked weighs more. And so, for example, you can look at 10 ounces of chicken breast or you can use, uh, yeah, let's use beef. You go a half a pound of beef. Yes. Okay. I use pre-cooked. Why? Because when you cook it, the protein doesn't go down. Right. The protein's not going to go down. It does not change. What changes? So maybe your half pound burger turns into, I don't know, 10 ounces or 12 ounces. What happened to the other four ounces? All right, I'm sorry, we're, that's a pound burger. So we're gonna go with a pound. 16 ounces, then we're gonna drop down to 10 ounces after cooking. What happened to the four ounces? Water, which is a lot of it. Maybe you lose a little bit of fat, depending on how you cook it. Maybe you're cooking on the grill, the fat drops down. If you're cooking it in a pan, like I would just take that fat and pour it back over, whatever's left. Hey, I'm already getting credit for it. But let's say you lose the fat. What's the worst case that happens? You just you you ate less fat than you thought you did. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're good. But the protein doesn't cook away. And right. that's why I always use that. Because if you use the pre-cooked, what if there was more fat? If you're really monitoring your fat, you could the, use, I'm sorry, the, the, the post-cooked. If you use the after-cooked one or like cooked ground beef, you could have more fat in what you're eating than what that says. So that's why I always recommend using the pre-cooked when you're looking at tracking. Next one is from Pat. Hey, Pat. She said, if I put one scoop of perfect keto collagen in my morning coffee, will that break a fast? Technically, yes. But it depends on your goals. Yeah, what are you trying to do? But yeah, you it de technically will break a fast. Really, like... I'm okay with having something like stevia, but even fat will technically break a fast. But if you need, absolutely. If you have to have something, I would go with like no more than like a half a tablespoon of butter. Pure fat, but don't have any protein or carbohydrates. That will break a fast. Uh, next one is from Karen. Hey, Karen, look at that beautiful plate. She says, I love eating this way. Do I feel deprived? No way. Bacon, eggs, spinach, and grilling cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to feel deprived right. when the plate looks that gorgeous. Yeah, people say all the time, well, I think keto is unsustainable. Really? I think it's the most sustainable lifestyle out there. Yeah. Do I feel deprived that I can't have bread? No. I mean, if you really want, you can go have Maria Emmerich's protein sparing bread. But I don't miss bread. You know what I get to eat? When everybody else is eating sugar, I get to eat bacon. Yes. I get to eat prime rib. Chris Gross. says it all the time. He spent his entire life not eating prime rib because you were told it's healthy. Right. Now I'm going to get all the prime rib. I'm in. making up for lost prime rib. And you should see people's faces when you go to Texas Roadhouse and they come out with a 16 to 20 ounce prime rib yeah. and they drop it on you and you see these just like glistening fat pockets and on there. And we're eating it. Like we're not candy. cutting it off and moving it to another plate. We're eating it. Yeah. yeah. And it's delicious. So yeah. 
I, it's just, I, it tastes great. So don't worry about it. You're doing great. Thank you very much for that post. Well, that is gonna be this week's Keto on the Couch. And we really appreciate everybody for joining us. Now make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit that bell button because we do have a lot of other videos coming up this week from the Keto Summit in Omaha. Don't forget about the giveaways for the Keto yes. Chow Bundles, which we will be doing a drawing for on Friday, September 3rd. And again, for our Patreons, we will do a live stream for you guys on Sunday the 5th. Also, don't forget about our normal weekly live stream, which is at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. Good news for you. Yes, it is. You do not have to do the live stream on your own. Yay. Because my game is at 4 p.m. Happy birthday to me. And you don't even have to worry about if we happen to have lightning because the field we're at has no lights. Yes. So if they get delayed, they just don't get to play. Okay. So I hope they we're get still going to gonna pray yeah. that they get to play and that we don't have any lightning or anything like that. Yes. But I will be with you for this week's live stream, even though I have a game on Thursday. Thanks, honey bunny. Now, if you guys like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we're gonna link right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Time for some jalapeno poppers. <laughs> Bye. Bye.